Hello and welcome to the sixth video in this series uh, looking at making a beginner application using Vue.js. Last video then we finished loading uh, using Vue resource our API. Uh, just clicked on load data here, we've got our data back. In this video I'd like to flesh this out just a tiny bit, store the data inside our Vue object and make a couple little changes on the interface just to show successful loading or non-successful loading. Nothing, uh, nothing too complicated. So going into the code then from where we left off uh, last time, the first thing I'd like to do is go into scripts.js and actually just change our data object a bit here. So instead of um, show alert, I'm actually going to say data loaded and I'm going to set this to zero and you'll see why in a minute. And the other thing I want to do is I'm going to now set uh, a new property inside here and I'm going to set the, call this API data and actually set this to undefined. We haven't actually got any data at the moment so it's uh, undefined. So the first thing to do then is look inside our load API, success callback and error callback. And what I'm going to do is, is whenever we click to load some new data, I'm actually going to set uh, this dot load or data loaded equal to zero. So when we start loading our data, data loaded becomes zero. If we're successful, then I'm going to set data loaded equal to one. And if we have an error, I'm going to set data loaded equal to two. So we can tell our front end, our web page, whether we've managed to load our data properly or not. So going back into index.html, you remember that we've got an alert here, which is a success alert. Well, I'm now going to change where if show alert is true, then we show this. Well, I'm going to change this a little bit now. And I've actually got some code I just pre-prepared here just to save some time with all the typing I do. I'm going to delete this alert here. And I'm actually going to try and make this look actually slightly neater. Um, have an alert that's going to show when data loaded is equal to one, the color is success, and say data loaded successfully, and it's going to show this alert if data loaded is equal to two, and this will be an error one. You can go to Viewtify and have a look and you'll see that there are the, the different alerts as we looked a, a few videos back, and this will say data load error. So what should happen is I'll click on load API, data loaded will be set to zero, which will hide both of these alerts, they won't appear, and then if we're successful, data loaded will become one. So we'll see this green alert. And if we're not successful, data loaded will be two and we'll see the red alert all being well. So I'll just go back then into our web page to refresh. And now click load data and you can see we've got the message data loaded successfully and we can see the successful callback here. Let's just double check that all works as expected. Let's um, cause an error again, put an E on the end of posts go back into the website, make a refresh and empty the cache, and now try to load data and we get an error loading our data because we've got the incorrect response. So the last thing we want to do then is we actually want to be able to at least store our data inside our object. Now, if you remember that when we loaded the API, I'll just go back to making this data load correct and back to the site, just refresh. Our data is actually in the response and it's in the response data inside here. Here's our array of 100 items. So bearing that in mind, I'm sure it's very clear what we're going to do here. What I can do is, is that in case of success, I can say that this dot API data is equal to our response dot data. And I've got our data available. And what I should see is our data object being populated then with our response. So I'll just go back to the video here empty cache, hard reload, click load data, and now you can see that data loaded is one, and here our API data now has our list of objects already to be displayed inside our application. So that's it then for this video. I just wanted to finish off what we did really in the last video, showing you how you might then use the data loading or not loading, and then just how to hook the data up that's been loaded into our actual data part of our view application. So thanks very much for watching. Any comments or queries or anything, please pop them below the video. Otherwise, see you in the next one.